With the increase in popularity of AI, online business owners are looking for more tangible, creative ways to stand apart and add additional revenue to their business. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a print-on-demand merch shop using the platform Gelato. Without further ado, let's hop in. The reason why I have been encouraging so many of the people that I coach and that are friends of mine to consider print on demand is because it allows you to add a revenue stream to your business or even create a standalone business that doesn't involve you having to worry about inventory, fulfilling orders, or providing customer service. Now, at the end of the day, even though all those things are provided, you want to make sure that you partner with a brand that allows you to maintain that sense of quality. The reason why I settled on Gelato is because they have a global network of over 140 different print partners. And so that allows you to keep the quality level high, but also fulfill your orders quickly. 90% of the orders that come through Gelato are actually sent out within five days of the order being placed. And so that is a huge deal. That's going to help reduce the carbon footprint of the things that you create. And it's also going to speed up the amount of time that it takes for people to get the thing that they place the order for, which will increase your customer's satisfaction. So at the end of the day, Gelato is a fantastic platform to utilize. You can go to LashondaBrown.com slash Gelato to get started for free. And if you place your order within the first two days, you're going to get 50% off that order. I strongly recommend that you place an order of your own products so that you can see the quality level so that you can make sure that everything is to your liking before you start to market your products on your site. Once you head over to Gelato to get started, just click on get started for free and you'll have the opportunity to either continue with a Google email, Facebook, Apple, or just sign up with your email address. Once you create your account, Gelato is going to walk you through a questionnaire to customize your experience and to personalize some of your recommendations. So make sure you're very clear with what your goal is for your shop, what products you're interested in. Print products are what they're really well known for, whether you're doing photo books, wall art, calendars, or cards, but they do have a wide range of offerings as well. So since I am a huge fan of Happy Mail, I am going to select cards for this example, and we're going to walk through the process of customizing a greeting card. Then you need to let them know what you estimate your yearly revenue to be. I would start off small if you're starting from scratch. If you are changing print partners from another platform, then you can select your yearly revenue from the past year as a starting point. What brings you to Gelato is super important because they're going to want to know what's the most important to you. For me, it's delivery speed and reliability because I know people like their orders fulfilled quickly. Um, but you can also say things like ensuring product quality, reaching more customers globally, expanding your product range, or trusting Gelato's reputation. Then you wanna let them know how you found out about them. So if you found out about Gelato because of my video, make sure you select influencer and then just type in my name, LaShonda Brown. At the bottom, you can decide if you want to receive news and insights and best practices from Gelato, and then you'll click finish to create your account. After completing the questionnaire, you're going to see three steps at the top of the page that you will walk through in order for you to order your first product. Remember that if you order within the first two days, you're going to get 50% off your order up to 100 USD, not including shipping. So I want you to make sure that you go ahead and you place that order and take advantage of that offering. Now, if you have a pre-existing shop, whether it is already on Etsy or Shopify, you can integrate it directly into to Gelato, which is going to save you a ton of time. Now to view all the integrations, just click on view all integrations on the right hand side, and you're going to see some names that are very familiar. You can also click on show more to show you all the possible options. So I'll be honest with you, I was shocked to see how many things were already included. You see brands like Amazon, TikTok Shop, Squarespace. I mean, it is going to simplify your life so much by having this direct integration. There's also platforms like Gumroad and Walmart, things that you maybe didn't expect. So I want to make sure that you know these options are available because it's going to expand your horizons in terms of where you can market your products online. You could sell your products directly on your Squarespace site, but you can also list them on Etsy. There's nothing wrong with that. So make sure that if you already have existing sites, check out the integrations first. 
One offering that's also really exciting is if you need to migrate products from somewhere else, you can actually contact Gelato to help you with that process. So they really want to make sure that you are set up for success. So if you find yourself hitting a roadblock, make sure that you reach out to an agent so that they can help you set up your shop. If you see a platform on this list that doesn't currently have an integration, but it's coming and you want to be notified, all you need to do is click on that brand and then select Yes, Notify Me. I have an existing Squarespace website, so I'm going to click on Squarespace and then select the thumbnail of my website to start the integration. Once you click on the thumbnail for your website, it's going to pop up a screen that's going to allow you to grant permission to Gelato to integrate directly with Squarespace. This integration is going to pull in all your customer data and it's going to automatically update things like your inventory levels, which will make your life a lot easier. So just click on allow at the bottom of the screen to get the integration started. Once you're done, all you need to do is close the window and you can see at the top of the screen the information provided for your particular store. Here is a Squarespace logo and the metadata pulled over from Squarespace and it also shows my billing currency, which in my case is USD. Once it finishes setting up your store, you're going to see at the very top, it'll say successfully connected and it will also show active. So that lets you know that the integration was successful and so that everything that you create in Gelato will port over to your Squarespace site. So I'm gonna get started by clicking on add product and I'm going to do a single product. Now, if you have multiple products that you wanna upload at one time, you can actually do bulk uploads, which will save yourself a lot of time in the long run. So in this case, we're just gonna start with one, but that option is available to you. From there, you simply need to select the category. So on the left-hand side, you'll see new arrivals, men's clothing, women's clothing, kid and baby clothing, but I am going to focus on cards. So I'm going to select cards from here. One thing to take note of is they're going to have a category called new lower prices. So if you are looking for products that have a higher profit margin, you can always start there and it's going to sift through the different categories and let you know what currently has a reduced price, which will mean more profit for you. Now, if you select Gelato Plus or Gelato Gold, you're going to actually have a higher profit margin on those particular products and you'll see those prices listed here. It's also going to to show you where shipping is available. So if it is limited for any reason, you will see that notated here. So some examples in this case are canvases, um, calendars, photo books, posters. And so don't think so much about your shop as a place simply for, you know, apparel items. You can really expand your horizons and come up with creative print products for people to include in their home offices. You can see behind me, I have tons of prints on my wall. I could have bought those from a local boutique, but I can also buy them from your online shop. And so this is a great way for you to create that initial digital design and then turn it into a physical product that is printed by Gelato and sent out to your customers. So because I'm passionate about cards, I wanted to start with that category and you can see there's up to 40% lower prices on the cards. I can sell them in packs of 10 greeting cards. I can do postcards as well. And you can see at the bottom where the shipping opportunities are available. So shipping in North America works for the greeting cards and the postcards. And here are some other examples that expand by options. Once you select the product that you want to design, it's going to give you the option to take the tour of the Gelato design editor. If for some reason you decide to skip this, it's also going to be available in the help section so you can always go back to it. So the first thing is your product information. This is where you're going to find all the essential details about your products, including the costs, the dimensions, and the available variants that they have available within Gelato. So you can change the size, the paper, you can do foil, you can do rounded edges, include envelopes or not. You can also change the orientation. After that, you're going to see your design tools. So you could actually design things directly in Gelato or you can upload your files or your images. After that, you're going to see that there are design templates available. So you could save time using reusable design templates on the right-hand side and apply them to multiple products. When you're ready, you can preview your design by clicking on preview and it's going to show you how the final product will look before you order it. 
and then you can select your product variants. So you can switch between your different product variants and options and apply changes to all of them at once or just do changes specifically for certain variants. So again, if you have one design and you want to have multiple different ways to purchase it, this is where you would notate your variants on that. And then at the end of the day, save and continue, and that's going to continue the process of building out your shop product. All right, so that's your really quick crash course tour of the platform. So I am going to upload one of my favorite designs. Uh, many of you know that I tend to wear a t-shirt that says tutorials are my love language. And so I think that would be a really cute card to be able to send to brand partners when they become a partner with my company. So I'm gonna order a pack of these postcards for myself and that could be an option available to other people. So you can drop your design here or use the add new button. So I'm going to click on this image here and find my design on my device and then add it directly into the design editor. In my example, I just uploaded a PNG of my design that says tutorials are my love language. If I click on the graphic here, I'm able to change the sizing and it also gives me some grid lines. So I'm going to center that. You can select your design and that's going to reveal some more options at the top of the page. So you could decide that you want to apply some effects like filters, adjustments, remove the background, auto enhance. You can even turn your file into a pattern by tiling it and selecting those results on the left-hand side. You can change the position, change some of the properties with the image frame and even personalize. It. So in your case, if you want to allow the customer to personalize the design, this is where you would select it so that they could change that element. So if you wanted them to be able to add their name or add their logo, different things like that, allowing personalization will be selected in the design editor and that will carry over when it is a listing on your site. Now that we have the design on the postcard, I'm going to select mockups. And so this is a really nice feature because it allows me to create a mock-up directly into Gelato and I don't have to hop into another platform. I really like the very simple drop shadow. So I'm going to make this my primary and deselect this here. So in my case, I'm simply going to add the title of my design and I'm going to keep in the description and the features that were provided by Gelato. I can also generate a description with AI. So if you are not a copywriter, no worries. The platform can help you to create that shop listing. Then you'll continue to the prices. So for this example, I'm going to set my pack of 10 postcards at $25, which is roughly $2 per postcard. And my estimated profit, including the shipping cost, is going to be $13.28. So when that is all done, if you decided what your pricing is going to be, you can continue to review. This is going to, again, show you what the product is, retail price, estimated profit, where you can deliver this product, and then you can simply click on publish. Gelato is going to recommend that you have at least five products to get your shop started. So make sure that you collect all of your designs in the very beginning that you already have created and get those loaded into the platform so that you can get increased visibility to get started. When you're ready to view your store, just click on the three dots in the top right-hand corner of the dashboard and click on view stores. This is going to show you a listing of all the products that you have available and what is currently connected. You can always turn your products on and off. And so here is where you will see the listing. I think it would also be fun for online educators to have this design as a tote bag. So I went back to the product catalog and these are the options that popped up. There is a classic tote bag, a premium tote bag, an organic one, um, and another organic variation with long handles. So depending on what you want the final product to look like, it may determine which one you select. So embroidery is available with these options, which is a really nice touch if you want to sell something more high end. And you can also see that there are more color variants for some of these than others. So the classic has five options to choose from. This particular one has more. So depending on the look you're going for, you may end up selecting a more expensive bag because the color variant that you want is available. In this case, I'm going to stick with the cheaper one and I'm going to go with the classic tote bag. What I really like about Gelato is I'm able to see the design on the actual product itself. And so now that I'm looking at it, the difference between having a black bag 
and a white variant versus the natural. I think I actually prefer the natural bag. So I'm going to delete the black product here and I'm gonna switch back to the design I already had and I'm going to drag it from side to side to make it as big as possible. And then I'm going to position it in the middle and in the center. So I don't have to worry about eyeballing the product. I know it is perfectly aligned. Now that I'm done designing, I can select the mock-up. If you want to utilize a free mock-up, you can select free here. If you want a premium mock-up, you'll need to upgrade to Gelato Gold and you'll see it notated with these icons in the bottom left-hand corner. Again, I'm going to add the title of my design to the product listing and walk through the process of setting my prices. In this case, it's going to be a direct to garment print for the actual design. It shows me my retail price, my estimated profit, and my delivery regions. When I'm done, I'm just going to click publish and it will add this product to my store. So now you can see we have our pack of 10 postcards and we also have our classic tote bag in the natural variant. After completing everything in Gelato, I was able to log into my Squarespace website, click on products and services, select products, and then I saw exactly what I created in Gelato inside of the Squarespace platform. Now I have products that I can link in blog posts, emails, what have you, to generate additional revenue, and it was truly just that simple. So if you want to get started with Gelato, make sure that you take advantage of that 50% off, get your samples ordered, get your first order in, make sure that you have everything to your liking and then start to promote. If you want to manually place an order directly in Gelato, just select orders on the left-hand side, click on new order, select from your store, choose your store and then select the products. From there, you'll click on choose and you will see the discount applied to your first order at the very bottom. Thanks so much for watching this video. To get started with Gelato for free, go to lashondabrown.com slash gelato. And for six tips of things to look out for when you're ready to start your print-on-demand business, check out this video next. Until next time, ta-ta for now.